Hi guys, a couple of, couple of weeks ago I was building a power supply, a high voltage power supply for a Tesla coil, uh, 3 kilowatts, 2 kilowatts, and I needed a mains power meter that would uh, show me the power, the current, the voltage, and the power factor. Uh, additionally, I needed an inverse current limiter for up to 16 amps and an EMC filter, mains filter, again for 16 amps. And all of that in one box. Of course, I didn't have it, so this is the project I want to show you today. It is a combined power meter, inverse current, EMC filter, mains filter. These are the basic, the base, the base components. I need. Let's start with the inverse current limiter. This is a design I made, I don't know, four years ago. Yeah? It is a combined inverse current limiter and EMC configurable EMC filter. This thing can be uh, separated. You see here the perforation it can be broken apart. So either you use it as it is, combination inverse current limiter and filter, or just the individual functions like current limiter and filter. As you can see, you have to connect the filter to the limiter. This has been done for reasons, so I can make a panel on GLC, PCB or others, but this doesn't work anymore. Anyway. Uh, this thing could take 30 amps and the same filter, but I would use it only for 16 amps. These are the, the inverse current resistors, four of them connected in parallel, the big fat relay, etc. But I will present this design perhaps later in, in more detail. Anyway, this is the inverse current limiter and the, the filter. The next thing is uh, the power meter. For that, I bought a cheap power meter from AliExpress. I don't know even how it's called. You can see it here, D69 blah blah 2049RBC3. It shows me everything I need. I added an ETA breaker. Unfortunately, it's only a thermal breaker. I would prefer a breaker that is a magnetothermic thermal breaker because it breaks easier, it, 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 it releases faster. But anyway, this is what I had for 16 amps. The current transformer for the power meter and the IEC socket, and that's it. This is the front plate, how it looks. And this is the case, again, with an IEC socket. Of course, all the holes and everything have, done, have been done manually, but I made a design on Eagle, Eagle board designer where to put everything, then I printed it out, glue it on the front and made the cut and made the cutouts here. Same with that. Of course, a CNC would be much nicer, but I don't have it. I, I wouldn't even have the, the, the space for that. The box itself is one that I have a lot of them. It's a Teco CP slash three. This is the model. And now I will put these three things together. Just a little peek on how it looks here. It's quite crowded because, because of the gauge of the wires. 16 amps is a lot of current.
So, the box completely wired and completely crowded. So, that's it. No more cables. Everything inside and it closes. And closed. This is how it looks. Okay, closed, and this is how it looks in operation. Left upper side, red voltage, the right orange, orange I think, yeah. It's uh, current, yellow, it's the power in watts, white is the frequency, uh, baby blue, <laughs> I think, light blue is kilowatt hours, and dark blue is power factor. At the moment, I have still the breaker off. I'm using this fixture here that I have with a different, uh, for the different lamp bases, is cascadable. It's in segments. It's very nice to test the different lamps and to have a load, etc. Turn it on. So this should be, this is a nine watt LED lamp. Yeah, it is this one. 9 watt. Okay, I'm turning it on. Watch this light here. You see it with delay because this is this shows that the, now the relay has closed. This is the current limiting function. Okay, we see 8.2 watts. Near enough. Power factor is up not good of course because it's a capacitor dropper in the lamp and you we have 60 milliamps what do they say here i don't see it 75 milliamps or something they said anyway and go to zero second test is with an halogen 42 watt lamp, again the same. Here you can see that because the lamp needs more power for the time, for a few milliseconds, for half a second or 300 milliseconds, I don't remember what the time constant is I'm using in my inverse current limiter, but you will see that for a few milliseconds, a few hundred milliseconds, it will be dimmer and then we get the full power. Like that. And we have 45, 46 watts. Almost one power factor because it's an ohmic load and 200 milliamps. It's getting quite warm normally. Just a little shot to show you how I designed the front plate, that's an eagle. Of course this and the design of the inverse current limiter etc. Uh, is available if somebody wants it. Okay, that's for today guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.